Hi, this is Gareth Brown from Rich Games for Learning. I've got an angles game for you today, and it's to help children understand angles, how to draw angles, and most importantly, how to measure angles. Now, it uses a protractor, so they get a lot of experience into how to use a protractor, and it's called Protractor Golf. So, basically they have to choose the direction they're going to hit the ball, and measure the angles to see how it's going to bounce off the walls so they can try and hit it directly into the hole. Now it's called protractor golf. I like to shorten it to pro golf so that when people say, oh Gareth what did you do yesterday? I can tell them I uh, played pro golf. No, I actually can't hit a golf ball very far at all and I'm horrible at golf which is um. This is a golf game I can actually play, so I'll show you how to play it now. Okay, now to start off with, you'll need a pencil and a protractor. The aim of the game is to pretend you're hitting a ball, and you start from the start circle here, and you've got to hit the ball and make it bounce into this hole here. Now, to do that, you need to pick a direction. Now, you can either just put the ruler down and sort of pick a random direction, which is how I worked it out. Or you can be more specific, put the protractor down and pick. Now I'm going to pick an angle of 33 degrees. Okay, now draw a line from the starting point, 33 degrees in this direction. Right, so I've hit a wall. Now I need to put the protractor down there. So I can figure out which angle it's going to bounce off of. So I've lined that up and I've got an angle of 55, 56, 57, so about 57 degrees. So I come around this side where it would bounce off and we go 50, 55, 56, 57. Like that. Now I line up the point where it's hit the wall uh, with a mark I've made using the protractor. And we draw a line, and we keep drawing the line till we hit the other wall. Okay, now students are going to start to learn that, alright, well, if it hit this at 57 degrees, when they measure this other side, which is a wall that was parallel to the wall it bounced off of, they're going to realise also that it hits the wall at 57 degrees. So they need to measure again 57 degrees, 55, 56, 57. Alright, they line it up and draw a line. And as you can see, where I hit it, it went straight in the hole. Now I'd love to say that that was because I was really clever, but it's only because I've already tried it about three or four times using this example. And you can see how many different uh, shots and estimations I had until I got it right. Sometimes you'll even have them looking like this. So lines all over the place. So I'm sure your students will be nice and challenged by this game, especially some of the harder courses. Now once they've finished this and they've got a hole in one, they can go back and start to measure some of the angles. For example, this one was 33 degrees. They can write it on the page, and I've also uh, left some boxes here where they can write it down as well. So that was 33 degrees. We already know this was 57 degrees. Write it in there. And this was also 57 degrees. The same with these ones here. And if you'd like, you can get them to label them acute angles, obtuse angles, and start a bit of a discussion about the different angles uh, that they use during the game as well. Well, if you like the idea of protractor golf, you can download the PDF. It comes with 15 different um, golf, little golf courses and another three empty templates so that the children can design their own golf course and have a bit of fun with that. So if you'd like to download it, just click the link below this screen and it'll take you to where you can download that. Print it out and start playing. Thank you for watching.